It's Two on the Aisle with me, Charles Gross, and Leslie Hoban Blake. Tonight, reviews of Forbidden Broadway, Cyrano, and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two on the Aisle. Good evening. I am the aforementioned Charles Gross. And I'm the aforementioned Leslie Hoban Blake. Good evening. Okay. Well, we have a lot of good things to talk about we today. Do. So now the next one is. Uh Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Yes, I Virginia knew you were going to sing well, that. Well, I know you were they sing, sing that. it in the play. They do, they do. So, and that, so, that was what I wondered the first time I saw it. Are they going to sing it? Now, see, <laughs> and this they is do. a revival, and there was a reason for this revival, okay? okay? Because I have seen in my lifetime at least two or three Virginia mm -hmm. Woolf, and I saw the first comical Virginia Woolf that had Ben Kazara mm -hmm. and uh, that lovely actress. I keep forgetting names. I'm sorry. This is not good. I'm tired tonight. Anyway, um, but... There was something very special about this Virginia Woolf. Two things. Number one, it was directed by a woman, gave it a totally different point of view for me, and Tracy Lett and um, Amy Morton, who are mm -hmm. uh, Chicago actors, not mm -hmm. that well known here except for o August Osage County, which was written by uh, Tracy Lett. But although he did not appear in it, no, his at, least, at least not in New York. His father mm -hmm. appeared in it, and then mm -hmm. he played his father's role after that some in another production. Uh, but Tracy, uh, I, I, I did an interview with Tracy, so I get to call him Tracy. Um, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Tracy did this role when, uh, about seven years ago, and he said that somebody told him that if you, get, if you do it well, you get to do it again. And he said, I guess I did it well. And it's so different because we just saw Bill Irwin do it not that many years ago. Yes. With, I think, Kathleen Turner. Yes. And uh, Kathleen Turner did this traditional, blousy, uh, big, chested. Um, Amy Morton is a tall, thin woman. She doesn't have the big chest that one has come to expect since there are lines referring to it. Uh, Tracy Letts on the other end, and, and Bill Irwin. They, seem to, they go over very quickly because I don't recall any of them for this production. Oh, what, the line? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, of, 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 that, of uh, that matter. Well, mm -hmm. what I was going to say about Tracy, though, is that th this is a play, even though it's directed by a woman, this is a play that suddenly uh, Tracy is, uh, or George, as, I sh I, as we call him in the play, George is a bully. George was n is not the, the meek little guy who's bullied by the woman, but rather he is the bully, which gives a vulnerability, which I've never seen in Martha, which was, it was like seeing a new play. Right, they're, they're, they're a married couple. They're, th they're the married couple, right. and they have the, in the, on the cal... Which, which, ca I, which I find interesting because, it, it just to give you a quick setup, they are, are a married couple at a university. Her father has right. been the president, and she's always resented the fact that her husband has never shown the gumption well, so that yeah, to, so she says right to but work his way up, but what I which makes it all the more interesting what you said because he certainly shows that he's got exactly. some force, and so you're kind of trying to reconcile that. But what we haven't mentioned is that there's also a young couple well, a, they're, who's they're just have joined. They're, they have company right, that they have night. company very late, and and the, uh, they unfortunately named Carrie Coon, but who's wonderful as Honey, because right. that was a, a role that was created years ago by Sandy Dennis, and no one really has come up to. And I, th I think it's just this woman right. found things in it that I've not seen in a long time. Right. And Madison Dilks is the is plays mm -hmm. Nick. So those are the and four characters. And since and since it's a definite wasp play, mm -hmm. Jackie Mason would be the first to point out that there's going to be a lot of drinking, <laughs> and there is. <laughs> well, there is, and, and everybody gets very mm -hmm. drunk. And of course, the, the, the Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? There's that famous line where where finally, uh, Martha says, "I am George. I am," which is just. And this time I was moved by it. And, but there's, there's, there's comedy and, as, as well as tragedy in this production. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think that Edward Albee is probably very, very happy with this. I'm sure he is. Mm -hmm. But the one thing, there were two things that kept coming to my mind, okay. like halfway through the play. A, right. I mean, everybody is tearing at each other. Yeah. They're really, everyone's really going, and it's very late. So I keep thinking, why does the younger couple stay? Why don't they just say good night and get out of there. I'll tell you why okay. it's written into the, I mean, aside from the fact that the player is written that way, the, he's brand new to the, to the school. Mm -hmm. They're in the house of the daughter of the president of the college. Right. It's important that they make a good impression. And they guess, I mean, uh, this is my interpretation of why they don't leave. Mm -hmm. But it is, you're right. I mean, uh, normal people would just get up and walk yeah. out. And, and, and then there's the and how are they going to react to each other next time they run into each well, other? That's, that's not, that's a different that was, play. I, it, that's another play. But you know what? This was it's the first time that, I, that ever, you know, it said, you know what? It might make an interest, uh, not necessarily an interesting play, but an interesting coda. Well, uh, it's hard. It's mean. <laughs> and, and, and mean, mean machine. Yeah, yeah. And, and again, I, I still, 
I, I understand your explanation, but I still, keep, I still kept thinking in my mind, leave, get well, out of there. Yes, but you've seen you it well, enough times to know that they're not going to. Well, it doesn't change no matter how many times yes. you see it. It's, it's still the same. Anyway, um, I really enjoyed this production. And I do, I honestly think, I think it was really interesting that with a, w a wound director, that, uh, that, that, that dynamic changed the way it did. And I do want to say that, that uh, Tracy Letts and Amy Morton are part of the Steppenwolf Company. Yes. They are well respected. And which and is where Augusta Orange. Uh, which is where, where Augusta Osage County, uh, but uh, also. Originated. Yes. Did I say this was directed by Pam McKinnon? I did. You did? I did. And you also mentioned she's a she. Yes, I okay. did. Okay. That's it. Uh, so All how many? Right. Are we talking? Uh, let's see. I will give it four. I'd go as far as 4.5. I, I, I found myself totally uh, connected at all times. And with a revival of something I've seen as many times as I have, that's a real compliment. 